All right, in today's video, I'll be using the full AoE team versus enemy adventures infinite in this update 16 let's see on how far we will go in the infinite run and the units we are actually going to be using today is different from the usual since take a look guys we're going to be using a better overseer oh my goodness this is the shiny version i got the shiny version guys like look it's my name but anyway next unit is griffin ascension broke soaking oh my god unique that's crazy and overlord Rhea, Devil Princess, and last but not least, God's Berserk. Yes, yes. And if you guys do want me to see, if you guys do want to see more amazing challenges like these, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'm so excited in today's video just because we're going to be doing some crazy things. So we are going to be doing this in the Curse Academy map. So let's get it. Yeah, hey, let's go, bro. Our shiny Albedo looks so strong. Oh my goodness, bro. Okay, so the first unit we are gonna be placing down is our Albedo Overseer. I don't actually remember her range at max upgrade, but you know what? We can just test her out once we place her in the middle. Because I don't remember. But anyway, Albedo Overseer is one of the newest units added in this update 16 and she become she became one of the best ground units especially at later upgrades she will turn into a full aoe although what is so unfortunate about her is that she won't turn into hybrid which is a shame but anyway at least she becomes a full aoe at later upgrades which is crazy and all right let's just place her at the middle and upgrade her i don't think her range actually is that big so what we're gonna do is of course get our griffin buff first though because that's what i really want the most right now is to get the griffin buff since it will help us progress along the map let's get our griffin up yeah yeah since i did bring myself brook soul king which is a buff unit and he is a full aoe as well which i will explain later on well since we are on the topic of griffin griffin is one of the most overpowered units and even better than Dio over Heaven with this extremely overpowered passive. Especially if you sacrifice buff units, Griffith will turn into Griffith Reincarnation where it will buff your units by 100% and you can stack your buff with Griffith Reincarnation which is incredibly overpowered which can be used in the brand new tournament in this update 16. Like honestly, he can be used in any updates and he will still be wonderful like he will perform very 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 well because he's just so overpowered that if you sacrifice any other units that aren't buff units then griffith essential will become a full aoe dps unit which is the most overpowered unit in anime adventures right now even better than dio over heaven which is insanely strong so in today's video we're actually gonna use the buff of griffin and the full aoe dps so i'm so excited on how today's video is gonna turn out to be because oh my god i don't think i actually have made my griffin do the buff so a few moments later oh my god i'm so excited okay sacrifice oh that's more than enough that's all right 114 percent and look at that griffin's reincarnation let's go oh my god now our units will have 100 percent more damage which you guys can see that is insane and can i turn off this all right nice okay now i can upgrade my a bit of overseer but actually before we do that i want to place my two two griffin right here and make them to 99 percent so we will actually you know have to get more yen for us to do that so i'll see you guys once i properly made each of my griffin ascension to 99% since I want to actually do this properly for you guys since I want to see on how far can we actually go oh my god look at our dark young bro he's going strong all right we can actually get our griffin to 99% now but the only problem is is that we don't have unique air so this is this is gonna be troublesome so that's 25% okay 25% 48% Okay, 70%, 93%, oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to make it too much, 
98% Alright, now this will be 99% Okay, now make the other one This is the other one, yeah, that's the other one Oh my goodness <laughs> Um, okay We need to sacrifice when there is barely any enemies Okay, sacrifice, that's 95% Perfect! More, that's perfect, oh my god Oh! Okay, okay, we got him to 100% But he didn't transform, good, 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 okay Looking good for us, bro. Okay, now what we're gonna do is place the units close to our griffin. So it will be easier for us to sacrifice him later on. So, of course, we need to max upgrade our Abedo first since I do want to see on how well she is at max upgrade because I completely forgot on how good she is. Since, you know, full AoE units are literally the best. It's the best AoE. Oh yeah, make sure to just set every Rhea to flying, okay. Since we don't have any hybrid, okay. Bro, this is- the struggle is real right now. It's crazy. Alright, let's start upgrading our Albedo Overseer. Yeah, she doesn't have the best range, but... For the meantime, this is good for us. And at upgrade 8, that's when she becomes a full AoE. Because right now, she's just a line AoE. What is this doo-doo? Like, this very doo-doo. This feels so weird. I feel like we are struggling. In a way, we, we are somewhat struggling. Because what is this, bro? I just want to get my full AoE on my Albedo Overseer. Then I think we'll actually... Do well. But at least, like kill these enemies faster okay fully we look at that oh my god okay her range is actually not that bad her range is not that bad for a 30.3 and she's a three placement by the way guys so getting unique on her is the best trait all right if you like i want to max upgrade someone else first which is mines overlord who is one of the newest units added in this update 16 and it became one of the best or honestly the best the best unit in anime adventures as at later upgrades he becomes a full aoe unit with his range being extremely massive and he's also a summoner unit as he summons units when he kills a certain amount of enemies making him extremely good for leaderboard runs and at the same time he is one of the most expensive unit in anime adventures update 16 which makes sense because on how this unit is literally like a raid boss she he is so strong bro oh my goodness look at us okay now we won't struggle as much now since we are gonna be upgrading our you know ends overlord since we do need a carry to make this run a lot more smoother and make it easier for us to get our yen because right now we are literally struggling our units are barely surviving. Oh my goodness, bro. Bro, this is getting out of hand. Like, we need my... I need my full AOE ASAP, bro. The... The air enemies are getting through my nerves, I swear. I miss my D over heaven, bro. <laughs> I miss my D over heaven. If it was only here, it would make it a lot easier for us. But unfortunately, he's not. So, I'm crying. In my room, the skeptical love. All right, we can get him to his full AoE, guys. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. And so far, there's two Dark Youngs in the map, bro. Okay, I'm so relieved that we finally got him to his full AoE, so we don't have to rely on this stupid Rhea Devil Princess, bro. He does not help. <laughs> she does not do anything. <laughs> all right, let's just turn on our ability. And all right, now I just need to get more money for us to max upgrade our Ein's Overlord and max upgrade our Albedo as well because we are we are in need of money, brah. All right, let's go ahead and max upgrade our Albedo Overseer. Sheesh. Okay, so placing her in the middle is actually not that bad since she reaches this whole entire area. So. Not bad, no, yeah, not bad, all right. Now, let's just continue upgrading our Ainz. Okay, so far, so good. We are surviving. Uh, just to make sure that everything is in range with Griffin. So once we max upgraded every single one of them, we can hit sacrifice. Yes, I'm so excited, bro. All right, guys, so wave 70. Let's go. And we can finally max upgrade our Ainz Overlord. Now, let's go max the rest of my Albedo. Okay. 
one more unit to max nice the only thing that will stop us from like progressing is not having law if we had law we are gonna be here like forever but since we do not have law we are not gonna survive that long unless something some miracle happened that the game just gave us like easy bosses but other than that yeah i don't know about that bro but at least Ainz is literally carrying us right now. He's doing 3 million damage with the Griffith buff. And that is just insane, not gonna lie. Oh my goodness. Alright, there we go. Nice, we're so close on max upgrading our last Albedo. And I'm assuming if Albedo Overseer was unique, she would have been doing like 1.2 million damage. I might be right or might be wrong. So that is crazy. 1.2 million damage. Sheesh. That's insane. All right, well, now we have enough to max upgrade our Albedo Overseer. Pog! Pog, guys, Pog. Okay, I have too much energy, but anyway, let's go ahead and replace our God's Berserk since the next unit we are going to be upgrading is our God's Berserk. So we want to make sure that he is in range with Griffith Ascension. Okay, so God's Berserk is still one of the most overpowered unit with this extremely strong full aoe and overall one of the best ground unit as well as he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies that later upgrades which is amazing like come on now I, we love hybrid units because that will help so much in later waves and guts also does an addition of 25 percent bleeding that lasts for four ticks which is insanely strong for uh you know a bleeding unit to have four ticks that is crazy and he is pretty expensive to max upgrade so having unique on guts berserk is the best trait yeah and look at that we're actually doing pretty well so i'm i'm glad like look at our true damage true damage from our eins is crazy oh my goodness and there's so many dark youngs as well so it is helping us quite a ton yippee all right let's go ahead and max upgrade our guts berserk let's go all right so the next unit we are gonna be max upgrading is our broke soul king yeah all right we need to make sure that he's in range all right there we go the so brook soul king is one of the best buff units to have for leaderboard runs as he will be able to buff your range and damage although brook soul king is no longer obtainable so you can only get him through trading with other people so if you ever excuse me if you're ever wanting to get him because you're a collector, then you can only get him through trades. Yeah. Look at that. And Unique is not the best trait on him, by the way. The, the best trait you can have on Brook Soul King is Sniper. It's just that I was lucky and unlucky at the same time for getting Unique. When I wasn't trying to get Unique on him, I was trying to get Sniper on him. Which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. But anyway, with us maxing our Brook Soul King, that leaves us to the last unit that we are max upgrading, who is Rhea devil princess so Rhea devil princess is still the worst unit in this game Bruh. this update is 16 because at later upgrades she becomes a full aoe which is honestly like the worst like honestly like what the flip bro it would have made sense if she had a bigger range with her full aoe but the thing is she's full aoe with like a doo-doo range like what the flip is that bro so what we're gonna do is actually place our Rhea devil princess here since it seems like it is the best spot to place our rear devil princess but anyway let's go ahead and max upgrade every single of our rear then we can actually sacrifice all of them oh my goodness i'm so excited i i, I cannot wait guys i cannot <laughs> let's go ahead and max upgrade every single of our rear okay now the moment that everybody has been waiting for is for us to use our griffin ascension and i feel like we don't have enough waves to do the other one to do the to do the to do the other, why am i stuttering bro to do the other griffin so what we're just what we're, why am i actually stuttering i need to calm down i think i'm just so, so excited right now what we're gonna do is just sacrifice one griffith ascension and i don't know about the other one i really don't know i feel like we don't have enough yen but we will see Anyway, let's sacrifice in three, two, one. Oh! 
1070 percent oh my goodness and he's doing 1 million damage that is crazy 1 million damage guys oh my god this is insane 1 million damage okay now we need to place our eyes because <laughs> our <laughs> our griffin cannot carry us unfortunately so we need to do something about that and then what are we gonna do next oh, yeah place our guts berserk because we need we need bleed all right there we go we got him to his full aoe we actually do a lot of damage because of our you know because of the griffith uh griffith reincarnation so it's helping us so much okay this is so good right now i actually have faith in my team bro wave 109 and we're doing amazing let's go yo this is so satisfying to watch bro oh my god what the flip bro this is actually so satisfying to watch especially seeing the numbers appear oh death painting curse i think we'll be able to kill this guy pretty easily i think so might as well just keep upgrading our guts berserk because why not he's much more like he's less yeah he's less expensive than upgrading our irons so not bad upgrading our guts berserk for now so we're doing a lot of damage because of our griffith re reincarnation the w unit look at that oh my god Bro, imagine we Griffith reincarnation with the buff and like Law and Homura. Oh, we are gonna actually get into the leaderboards using that team. I did this challenge. This is why I'm so excited doing this challenge, bro. Because Griffith reincarnation is just re it's just crazy. It is literally making it look like we have two unique guts in the same game. So. That is just insane. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Alright. I'll see you guys uh, wave 120. Alright. Wave 120. Let's see who the boss is gonna be. And let's go ahead and max upgrade our irons. Nice. Alright. That's the max upgraded iron stat. 3 million. Oh my god. And remember that his ability does five times the damage to the enemies that have been affected by the ability. So, oh my goodness, five times of three million is literally, what, 15 million damage? And on top of that, he's doing three million damage too. Like, that is a lot of numbers, bro. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. <laughs> Super crazy. Right, let's place our brook right here. Can it reach... Bro, it doesn't even reach our eyes. Hello? Bruh. Well, sorry to say I'm gonna replace you. That hurt some gold. Oh my god. Bro, he's barely reaching the enemies. What is this range? This is why getting sniper trait on him is the best trait. Because like, what is this joke? What is this? No, I'm just gonna leave him there because we are gonna sacrifice, maybe. I think I will be needing to sacrifice the other irons as well. I think it will be for the best. Since right now, we're not even actually struggling. Like, the fact that we're doing this much damage. Like, it's kind of crazy, bro. Yeah, we're killing this Hanuma boss. Oh my god. Hopefully, we don't get him again next boss wave because... We are actually struggling against him, so I do not wanna I don't wanna see him again. Ooh. Oh my god, we're doing so well though. Alright, wave 130 guys. <laughs> um there's actually no way. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. How dare you game? Um, anyway, the range of my of my broke is so doo-doo. Like, it, the, he can barely hit the enemies, bro. He can barely hit the enemies. 
This is crazy. And the moment he attacks, there won't be any enemies anyway. Like, what the flip, bro? Alright, let's upgrade our Albedo. Alright. <laughs> he stuns my units. It doesn't really blend well with everything else. Like, come on now. Surely my units will deal enough damage against this boss. I feel like we don't do enough damage. I feel like I feel like we're not doing enough damage. We're just so unlucky with this boss too. All right, come on, kill it, bro, kill it. Guts Berserk. All right, Guts Berserk is still in range. I, I have faith in this guy. I have faith in our. Oh my goodness! What the flip, bro? What? We actually did it! Oh my goodness! That sudden damage came out of nowhere. Alright guys, wave 140. Let's go. Surely it's not gonna give us Hanuma again, right? Surely not. Why would the game do that? Why would the game do me like that, bro? Alright, max upgrade our Albedo. Nice. Okay, Jupy. Jupy's not that bad. Oh my god. What? Like one of the most easiest boss out of everybody. And then our Ein's ability will be activated too. So we're gonna deal a lot of damage against Jupy. Oh my god. We're actually goaded. We are too good at this game, bro. Oh my goodness. Even though he moves fast, he's so weak. Like, look how fast we're actually killing this boss. Oh my goodness. Like, at the start, we were struggling, man. We came a long way. <laughs> came. Look at that, guys. We defeated him. That's crazy. Oh, yes. By the way, the boss at wave 150 is always Mahoti. And, yeah. Let's see on how well we're actually gonna do against this now. Because this guy is a lot tankier than before. Like, there's no way that we will be able to actually win this time, so... I think this is the end of us. I feel like if we had Law... If we had Law in our team, or Ice Queen maybe, it would help us so much. Like, we've max upgraded every single of our units, so this is like... We're just gonna sit here and like, pray that we'll be able to actually do something against this. <laughs> maybe that'll be enough, or not. Yeah, no, we did like, baby health, bro. We did baby damage. No! Oh my god. I think we did a really good job, you know? I think we really did. Dang, if we only had law, we would have reached a lot further into the game. GG. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. And we did 71 billion damage in total. I take that as a W. Let's go. Nah, we would have reached a lot further if we had law in our team. Thank you all so much for watching this video of us using the full AoE team in Anime Adventures Update 16. If you guys do want to see more fun challenges like these, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye bye. Oh, we didn't get rerolls. When will our when will we get rerolls again? Oh, in like 46. Well, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.